Taurus, welcome. Sun, moon, rising in Venus. This is your singles read for the second half of January 2022. And a four-card read. We try to get down to it here. Bottom of the decks so account heavily in this reading is the Empress card. So this can be you. I mean, Empress is Venus, but I always think of the Empress as Venus in Taurus. Uh, rather than Venus and Libra so much. Um, um, and so it's like, to me, it's like you're showing up uh, in your own reading. So I'm speaking then probably here with the chariot. This is your energy in around love and relationships now. Um, someone who's spiritual, who's following a spiritual path in some way, whatever that means to you. Religious, spiritual path, the higher path. I see Cant Chariot here, particularly with the Empress representing yourself, that you are aligning um, your lower mind with your higher mind, Mercury to Uranus. Uh, you are aligning with your soul's path, or you already have. You're already in alignment with, you know, the Chariot is this victory, but unlike the Six of Wands with the Chariot, the onlookers are your ancestors and guides and angels, you could say. It's all like watching and applauding you as you align with this energy um it comes to mind uh, that this energy can be difficult for other people this is i think what's going on Taurus. So, um and because you know the empress is solid and the empress knows her work he or she it just implies that energy but this is in the position of what's blocking you. So you might as well say you have the Ace of Swords uh, reversed. To me, it's like something that's not being said, um, not being dealt with. And I think it's probably around as you align with your higher self and your true purpose, and you move more and more into your true self, your true Empress energy, uh, mature strong, uh, self-aware, Taurus, male or female, is uh, capable of asserting themselves and, um, you know, taking responsibility and everything. Um, there's probably uh, someone's not willing, they, this could represent too, just someone not being able to take this journey with you, not relating to it, not maybe being able to, not to make excuses for anyone, but just how it is. Uh, Maybe when you discover, when you, when you get in this chariot, um, that there's somebody who can't get in it with you, uh, Taurus, and you thought that they were. And Spirit's advising, then I don't think Spirit's going to advise you here to be unhappy, which is what this is, and emotionally unhappy, because I think that's what's going on. You're unhappy about this fact that you can't take this person along with you. Um, but I think what Spirit's advising here, because this is a position of what does Spirit advise for you? And that is to look behind you at these other two cups with this Five of Cups and realize that you uh, do have something there. Usually I don't give that interpretation. It's a corny, classic interpretation. And normally when we're in this energy too, if anyone were to advise us, well, there's, this is like someone telling you, look, there's a uh, Taurus, there's plenty of fish in the sea. Get over this sword here that uh, stabbed you in the heart. Um, and But I believe when Spirit's saying this, they're literally saying, like, turn around. Just turn around, Taurus, because there's a fire sign here. And there's something new here. This is the outcome. And I got, and they're looking up uh, at this chariot. So literally how this would go down uh, could be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Think sun, moon, rising, or Venus, something prominent, okay? And um, they're almost, uh, they would almost see you as this uh, chariot coming out of the sky. So it's someone to kind of look up to you, uh, admire you. They might be younger than you. They're going to be very sexy to you. They're very attractive to you. You're going to see them. If you continue the metaphor, if you're up there in your sky, uh, in your chariot, you're going to see them looking up at you, and you're going to lock eyes, and you're going to fall in love, and you're going to fly down to this uh, younger vivacious uh, very probably sexy to you anyway uh fire sign personality and i think the key here is that they recognize your accomplishment and they admire you you know this is also a mentor type energy could be too comes with it um this could also be if you're into the twin flame you know then you're 
uh, definitely the activator. And this would be your sleeper here, kind of representing moving, moving the sleeper, awakening the sleeper. But this would be one, you know, not always the sleeper's asleep. Sometimes they're kind of aware. There's many young people now aware of all, all the spiritual ways. And uh, so, you know, it's not uh, that uh, hard to wake them up, you know. That's why they recognize you. Other people would just be like, what the fuck is that? They would be like, oh, that's the one. Uh -huh. So, Taurus, let me know what you think. Uh, I hope this resonates. Do hit a like. Helps the algorithms move it along. And um, please subscribe if you haven't. Thank you, guys. Mondays, always Aries and Taurus Day.